Yo, before I start this video, I just want to let y'all know, this is, this video is not to offend or disrespect anyone. If anything, this video is a wake-up call to all the Southerners out there that y'all really have to pay attention to what the hell are y'all doing with your lives. Because at the end of the day, y'all eat too goddamn much. <laughs> I mean, it's just, yo, it's... It's serious, like straight up. Like, okay, I'm gonna tell you all what happened, right? Tell you a story real quick. Not a story, but you know, this is this is what happened. So earlier today, I went to a jazz festival, right? Here in Atlanta, it's in Piedmont Park. Nice fucking event. It's free, free. So you know, it was a shitload of people out there. When you say F R E E, you'll see some of everybody coming from wherever. But anyway. I'm sitting down, right? Now, I haven't even got to the food trucks and all of that stuff. I'm sitting down, listening to jazz. I got the, 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 the sheet rolled out and everything. Me and my children, we sitting down and we listening to jazz and everything. And it's, it's some people in front of us, right? So, they're like, yeah, you know, um, it was the son, the mother, and like, I, got, I guess it was two sisters, but they were grown, you understand? So they had children. So they had a tent up. It wasn't a tent, it was like a big umbrella. They had a big umbrella, they had chairs and everything. They had their whole area decked the fuck out, right? As if they were like, <laughs> as if they were like at home, right? So they start talking about what they got. Yo, grandma, you know, grandma, mommy or whatever. Yo, you know, you, you want a plate? We got chicken, macaroni, we got uh, uh, tuna salad, we got potato salad. These niggas went on and on and on about how the, the amount of food that they had, and it was ridiculous. Like, I'm like, yo, let me get this right. It's okay to bring a beverage, a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's hot outside, you understand? So, it would be wise to me to bring, like, fruit and water, you know what I'm saying? But I guess that's unheard of in the South. It would be wise to me to bring like a watermelon, you know what I'm saying? Some cold watermelon, stuff that's going to hydrate your body because you're outside in the heat. Oh, no, 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 not those. <laughs> not, not the Southerners. Mm -mm, no, no. They would, then they were eating chicken and then the kids was running around. They were eating chicken. And then the next, next thing I know, they was eating um, per partridge farms, those cookies. They were eating that. And then they turn around and they ate some other shit. And I'm like, every couple odd minutes, oh, they had cheese doodles, they had potato chips, they had some of everything. And I'm like, yo, why in the hell do y'all have so much damn food? Why? Why? Then they put, of course, you know, they pulled out the liquor. Of course, you know, they pulled out the liquor. And they drinking liquor and eating. I'm like, who does this? Who does this like with me? Like if I were to drink, I would eat something and have something on my stomach. And then an hour later, I would start drinking. But ain't no way in the hell you gonna catch me drinking and eating, drinking liquor and eating. First and foremost, I don't even drink while I'm eating at the same time anyway. They, they say that it, it fucks up your digestive system to drink and eat at the same time. So I wait uh, 30 minutes prior to eating to drink water and 30 minutes after, after eating to drink water or drink some type of liquid. But it just, it makes no sense, man. Every event that I go to, whether it's a funeral, a marriage, a, a bridal shower, uh, uh, what, what is it? A baby shower. That's that's what I meant to say. A baby shower. Whether somebody graduating from high school, college, a nigga got <laughs> a nigga got released out of jail. Nigg niggas be making up some of every fucking thing just to goddamn cook, and it's crazy, man. 
It's crazy to me, man. So uh, the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, and the list goes on. And we wonder, in particular, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm being particular now, as far as dealing with the black race, we wonder why in the hell we got diabetes, and we don't even know how to pronounce diabetes. We say diabetes. Diabetes, high uh, blood pressure, and the list goes on of ailments. Yeah, man, nigga, if you stop eating all the fucking food, if you stop eating from the rooter to the tutor, the pork, stop eating sauce. You know sauce got pig penis in it, pig eyeballs, pig pig scrotums. It has everything in it. And they, they're still selling that shit in the grocery store. They're still selling chitlins in the grocery store. And it's, 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 it's amazing to me, man. And this shit is only in the South because when I was living in New York, totally different. Totally different. New Yorkers, they have bad, uh, Northerners rather, have bad eating habits because they eat out a lot. But they don't eat a lot of fucking food. They don't. Only the Southerners do that type of shit. And it just bugs me out. And you know, you know another thing too? Like, so Northerners eat a lot of fucking food excuse me eat out a lot but they get out and they walk you know what i'm saying like new york and these big cities in the, in the north you can you can walk places and shit you don't need no damn car you know what i'm saying you're, you're busy getting on the train you're getting off the train getting off the bus you're walking down the street you're going to the the the, the fucking um what is it god damn it the bodega you see what i'm saying you're walking everywhere so that all that bad food, you know what I'm saying? You burning it off. But down here in the South, the Southerners are eating all types of shit and they're getting in their car to drive to where they have to go, period. So they're not burning that shit off. The fat is just piling up, piling up, piling up, piling up, piling up. Then come, <laughs> okay, so Memorial Day week, it was just passed. What's the next one? The 4th of July. Oh, shit. Sister Betty gonna cook the uh, potato salad. <laughs> Sister Betty gonna cook the potato salad. And um, Ricky gonna kick, kick the ribs. Well, you know Ricky can't kick no goddamn ribs, nigga. Uh, uh, who, who else could cook the ribs then? Uh, 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 Brother Willie. I never... <laughs> Yo, black people can't seem to get together. Black people can't seem to unify. You know what I'm saying? Black people can't 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 seem to open up a business together. Black people can't seem to support one another. But when it comes to motherfucking making food, hut what? Hut one, hut two. Everybody knows everybody knows their position. Everybody knows their place. Well, you know, uh 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 Aunt Aunt Lisa, she can cook the fish. Uh, 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 Betty Jean, he's going to go ahead, uh, excuse me, what I'm talking about, he, she's going to go ahead and cook the biscuits, make the biscuits, because she can make them good butter bi biscuits, and it's crazy to me, man, how can we come together collectively in order to kill ourselves, y'all talking about black on black crime and shit, y'all talking about how these youngins go out here and kill each other out in the streets, while y'all are in the house killing one another, Never looked at it like that, did you? Never looked at it like that. This is the reason why my channel is up and active. Because I give you a different way of looking at things. I give you a different approach. Y'all don't even realize that. Y'all are coming together collectively as a family to kill one another when it comes to uh, Thanksgiving, when it comes to Christmas, when it comes to the 4th of July, when it comes to Memorial Day weekend, when it comes to Easter, when it comes to Labor Day. And it makes no sense. Makes no sense. I don't understand it. <laughs> Y'all come to the cookout. Dip the f dripping. I'm not gonna use the old school slang. I was about to say dip the fuck out. Uh uh. We gonna you we gonna use the new school slang so these young bucks can relate start to relate to my videos. Y'all come in the damn cookouts dripping. Dripping.
got the new Jordans on, got the new iPhone, all of that, right? Dripping, looking clean. But in but but what you're consuming, what you're about to consume is all dirt. All junk in the inside. And you wonder why you got bumps all over your forehead. You keep on <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you keep on drinking those sodas. And they said now, this is a known fact that uh, sodas also cause cirrhosis of the liver. Period. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not coughing from smoking blunts either. Don't get it twisted. And that's another thing. So some of you all have beat bad eating habits as well as drug habits. We got to wake up. We got to do things different. You got to balance it out. Period. If you're going to get fucked up, guess what? Instead of going to the Waffle House after the club, take your black ass home and put some spinach in a pot and eat that shit. Period. It's just that plain and simple. Instead of eating all of that meat, what, what is it, deep fried turkey? Instead of eating all of that shit, on the 4th of July Try to eat something more healthier I'm not telling you to be a vegan or a vegetarian like me But what I'm telling you Is if you want to stay on this planet Southerners You better start eating better You better start taking on Healthier habits Because it makes no sense It makes no sense that I was At the jazz festival And black people were lined up I I'm, I just need to taste it. Damn, you ain't got no discipline? I don't understand that. You wake up every day. When boss tell you to be at work at 9 o'clock, you get there at 8.55. When boss tell you to get off at 5 o'clock, you're, you're getting off at 5, 5.30 because you're putting in, you, 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 you're so committed to your job, you're putting in an extra 30 minutes, an extra, extra two hours, extra three hours, sometimes off the clock. How can, how, how, how is it that you can manage to have discipline when it comes to your job But you can't manage to have discipline When it comes to your eating habits Which makes no sense to me You only have one body And one body only My posture's fucked up I gotta sit up You only have one body And one body only You gotta take care of it So this video Was not meant To bash you all This video was not meant to be disrespectful This video was meant to alert you To let you know it's time to give up the goddamn pork At least Period And for all those that think That I'm this bourgeois nigga Just cause I'm a vegetarian or a vegan or whatever Let me tell you something I come um, my, my background is Christian And meat eaters That's the family that I come from On both sides Period. But I decided to make a difference in myself and in the family that I created so that I can be around as long as I can, as well as my family. Period. Because we matter. And it's just that plain and simple. Start loving yourself. Start believing in yourself. And you'll be all right. I love you. I love you, Southerners. I love y'all. We gonna get it. We gonna get it together. And if you need help, email me. You know what? You know where to find me. Langston two zero nine two on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. DM me. I ain't got no problem with helping you out. I get DMs all the time. Brothers and sisters asking me questions, and I answer them. You understand? Other than that, you support me, I'm definitely going to support you. Support me by liking the video, commenting, subscribing, and definitely sharing it. Stop being selfish and share my videos. My name is Linkson 2092 Y'all have a good day.